Joining us now on our Olympian series is uh, a man who has had so much influence on water polo in this country. Please welcome Tom Hode. Welcome, Tom. Thank you, Mike, for me. Thank you. Tom, your career as a player spanned the 60s into the 70s and then uh, you took over coaching. So 1960, 64, 68, 72 Olympics uh, were your reign as a player? Yes. Uh, so uh, Tokyo, which is uh, the whatever year anniversary, I my maths calculations off the cuff are four, uh, 60, 60, six years, I think, six. since Tokyo. And uh, that was... I'd been in the Rome team, and myself and Mick Withers, the goalkeeper, who were the only two that the two players remaining from the team that played in Rome, apart from ourselves, no other player in the team had ever played in an international game or seen an international game. And we were then under the agi of, of Australian swimming, and they didn't see the necessity to have training games. And we prepared for the Olympics in Tokyo by in the Melbourne Aquatic Centre. And with Alex Kurzegi, who was a Hungarian who had uh, left after the, the end of the Second World War and escaped to come to Australia. And we trained in Melbourne for six weeks before going to Tokyo without having played one game beforehand. And we didn't even have enough to play training games. And anyway, Australian swimming had said to us, the only reason water polo can't win a medal is you're not fit enough. And so we did every morning from nine to 12, six, 400 meters and 100 cross pool sprints. Now any man with half a brain would know you can't do 100 cross pool sprints. All you do is go through the motions and turn the arms over. And then we finished at 12, rushed home for a quick lunch and because the swimmers were on at 4.30 or 5, we had to immediately go back to the pool straight after lunch and then do our ball handling. And I can remember, I could barely keep my eyes above the water level during the ball handling sessions. We couldn't play a game because we didn't have enough players. So that was the preparation then, without any training games whatsoever for the Tokyo Olympics. And I just hope if Tokyo goes ahead, and I hope it very much it does for the Australian athletes who have put a lot of time and effort into it, as we did then, that it will go ahead. 